sometimes I don't finish a game for a review. I try to play as much as I think I have to in order to get a good feel for the game. You know, not five minutes, but not necessarily 50, 60, 70 hours, that kind of thing. I try to draw a happy medium between the two. This one I wanted to finish. God of War Ragnarok is the follow-up to the hugely popular God of War, which is not the same as God of War, because there's two of them now. God of War 4? God of War Norse Vacation. Anyway, this is God of War 5. Before anything else, there's a huge array of accessibility options. Visual highlights, audio cues. Like The Last of Us Part 2, it seems this game wants as wide a collection of people to be able to play it as possible. Like its predecessor, Ragnarok makes its focus clear up front. The characters. And very swiftly reminds you of what happened the last time. Literally. Like, there's a recap on the front page just in case you somehow forgot how awesome it was. Kratos, he is still in mourning. Atreus is more grown up and more assertive as well. Hungry? What's next? I'll get them ready. And as before, I like to see how we see them in their home setting, at least to begin with, trying to get back into some kind of new normal between the two of them. You hear that? Yes. Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Get ready. Falcon. The bond between them is different at the start this time. Kratos no longer needs to direct Atreus with every single little action nor teach him something every five minutes. There she is! Uh, ah! Mother! Uh, 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 oh, got you! Uh, I gotta get away from her! I'm trying! Uh, uh,
Mimir is still with them, and yes, still spends almost the whole game dangling off Kratos's ass. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? Combat is still a thing, of course. That one's got a sling. Look out, brother. There's an insane number of upgrades here. Not all are available at the start. They open up slowly as you play through the campaign. Unlike its predecessor, you get the Blades of Chaos very early on. <laughs> Your shield gets broken early on as well, but don't despair. Turns out that's just an excuse for the game to give you more options. A shield for every occasion. I went for the one that allows slam attacks. There's a range of skills for both the axe and blades as before. There are some minor changes since last time, but mostly they'll still feel familiar. Now though, when you purchase certain skills, using them enough times against the enemy will eventually unlock an enhancement. Pay a one-time fee in XP and you can switch between the three options freely. Give your favourites an edge in the manner of your playstyle. Relics, as before, grant an extra triggerable ability when you really need it. Eventually, Kratos can alter his rage, if you choose to do so, to heal instead of beating the crap out of enemies. And just when you think you've got everything, there's an amulet as well, with 10 passive upgrade slots. It's very welcome, but at this point in the game, I did start to wonder if there was any end to these things, if I was ever going to finish collecting everything. And I haven't even mentioned the companion upgrades yet. Well, I have now. The visuals are striking, offering wide open vistas of colour and spectacle. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top, once we find our way past yet another light door. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All Father thinks that you know what you're doing, so do it. Good choice, lad. Other visuals are surprising. Thor is really <clears throat> big. Uh, it's not a criticism, it's just an observation. Also, Odin is really thin and old. Uh, I've seen too many Marvel movies, haven't I? Combat now includes a limited measure of verticality. You can still climb around areas, but certain ledges can be reached with a quick swing from the blades. Even in combat, before you were limited to fighting on the flat, now you can leap from a higher ledge to perform a slam attack. 
combine that with the various platforms and gaps that can be swung across, Kratos is far more mobile. Above you! Incoming poison! fights can get annoying. A mix of melee and ranged enemies can harass you quite badly, add in status effects like Bifrost, and you can be overwhelmed pretty damn quickly unless you're careful. Shit, shit, shit! I hate these Asgard Bifrost bastards! Unlike its predecessor, the Wolven are brutal. Stop blitzing me every five seconds. It makes them hard, but worse, boring. Just waiting for the onslaught to end. Oh shit, not a Valkyrie! Not a Valkyrie! Took me all my effort to beat one last time! And yes, one is all I beat! Actually, this is a mandatory fight as part of the campaign, so it's not that hard. The Berserkers, however, are not mandatory. Ball bag. You knew this would <sighs> Do me a favor, brother. You see any from under the cruel dagger the cold and bitter the Oh god, there's three of them. Oh shit, look at me health! Oh dear. Oh, I'm dead. After two hits. From under the cruel, he dagger the cold and bitter the playful. Now, the spheres were killing me for quite a while, mainly because I forgot you could throw the axe at them to detonate them. My bad. But yeah, two hit deaths! It makes it really hard to learn the enemy's pattern. Oh, 
Yes. Yes. Yes! I did it! I did it! I oh fuck, the other two are still active. number of attempts I had at this fight. Oh no wait, I can because I recorded them all. It's 103! Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm going somewhere else. At least there's plenty to do. I think it's fair to say these berserkers are the new Valkyries, even if there's not as much of a build-up to them. Fortunately the rest of the game is not this hard. One thing that fight did make me realise though, I haven't actually been using all my abilities to their full potential. There are so many upgrades, so many enhancements, weapons, moves, etc, etc. It's hard keeping them all in mind in the middle of a fight. All too often I was using the same attacks over and over. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter. Safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering grey voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not going to wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any... Anybody need a snack? Kratos? Snack? I do not need a snack. Equipment is extremely usable. Old armor, for example, can get outclassed by newer, higher level stuff, but you can upgrade the older armor to raise it to the same level. It won't have the exact same stats, obviously, but it will be comparable. Each armor has a different focus, but you feel like you can stick with your favorite gear more readily. Me, I picked out an early game set that improved defense, vitality, and restored health on a grapple kill. That one suit of armor saw me pretty much through the entire game, from start to finish. Basic upgrade materials can eventually be purchased from the shop for a small amount of cash, so even your level 1 stuff can be brought up to level towards everything else quite easily. Provided you have the cash for the raw materials and enough to pay for the upgrade itself. The upgrade is expensive. Even your starting armour has some impressive stats once you raise it to a high enough level. Did I mention there was a spear? There's a spear. the other tools at your disposal, the spear can open up paths previously blocked. You'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. If you don't disappoint, continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. But the best bit? It can steal an enemy's element. <laughs> Give me that Bifrost! 
<laughs> Would Sir care for a taste of one's own petard? Another Berserker gravestone. You know what to do, brother. Uh, yeah. Run the fuck the other way. There is some light puzzle solving. Well, I say right. Sometimes the solution evaded me for a while, usually because I wasn't standing in the right place to see the solution. The solution always involved using your weapons, be it a hit from the axe, a swing from the blades, or a throw from the spear. <laughs> Well done. Certain realms have been tweaked. Muspelheim is still the challenge gauntlet, and yes, it's still hard. Niflheim has, thankfully, done away with the poisonous misty labyrinth. Now it's mainly a training ground with infinite enemies and health. You can earn cash or XP, but you can unlock those combat move enhancements. Makes it worthwhile spending an hour or so in there. Midgard is under the full force of Thimble Winter, etc, etc, you get the point. After a while you gather an impromptu team inside the house. I like these gatherings. In the previous game it felt very much like it was just the three of you. Now there's more people inside your circle, which is very much in keeping with the feel of the game. I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? I'm sure that's where I'm planning our next move. Oh. So, where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? And despite the game's focus on its characters, the events they go through, and the very serious repercussions thereof, they still have time for the occasional rare joke. I know why. I'm unbearable. That's why you hate me. You are not my enemy. You are irrelevant. A stranger. So, you don't despise me? I do not feel one way or the other. That's honestly kind of a relief. I mean, yeah! You're a stranger to me, too. Why should I care what you think? Now you understand. Fantastic, Master Kratos. I'm glad to know we do not care about each other. Get bent! I don't know if that was necessarily the best lesson, but, uh, what do I know? Last time, it was a story of a father and son striking out on their own without the wife and mother to hold them together. This one is more about family and what that means. And it all culminates in Ragnarok itself. Yes, that does happen. And it's a hell of a battle. Damn it! Ragnarok is supposed to be here! Why is he here? Standing on the sleeve. God of War Ragnarok is a worthy sequel. Gone are the days when Kratos used to kill and smash everything in sight because he was pissed at something, anything and everything. And that even plays into this story. 
the developers acknowledge what has come before and build on it, using it as a reason to move forward, mirroring the moving forward that Kratos himself is trying to do. It's honestly hard to tell at times if the story is filler between the excellent combat or the combat is just stopping you from experiencing the next dramatic story beat. Uh, that's a good thing, because they're both superb. Oh, and that trio of berserkers. One left. I did it! I finally got round to playing this, and I finished it. It's been... This game has been on my little table for a few weeks. Uh, probably a month and a half, if I'm being honest. It's, I didn't expect the previous game, Space Engineers, to take me so long to play through. I knew this one would, because I wanted to finish it. So, it's just, I, I'm hoping that going forwards, the reviews that I've got in mind will be a bit quicker instead of taking almost a goddamn month each, because that's really annoying to me. I haven't even had much time to, to do like my Warhammer figures, you know, I've still got those to go through. It's just mm, too much, too much shit to do. That's my problem. Hopefully that'll change going forward. Okay, I'll stop wittering now. What did you think of my video? Leave a like or dislike down below. What did you think of God of War Ragnarok? Did you like it or hate it for some reason? Leave a comment down below in that section because that's what it's there for. And for those of you who can't get enough of my dulcet tones, you can always subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, that's a separate thing. Or if you want to inflict me on someone else, you can always share instead. See you next time.